Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I really do hope you enjoy my videos. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your thumbs up button as well as leave me some comments down below. Let me know how you guys are loving your planner setup for 2018 and if you have the budget planner, let me know how you guys are using your budget planner and how you like it. So it's not going to be like an in-depth budget plan, uh, budget video. It's just going to be kind of like a flip through of how I have everything set up for this month. Who knows, next month it might change, but so far I kind of like how I have everything set up. So of course when you open it, we have our savings goal. And what I did was discuss with Michael what's a good number for us to save without kind of going into the hole, trying to reach a large amount as well as like a number that we saw that was too low. Um, I did see some video, not video, some setups on Pinterest, but either they were too high or too low. And the last thing I want to do is go into the hole trying to save. So we just basically picked a number that worked for us that was doable. And I broke that number down into 12 months. All right, this page is pretty simple. It basically has all of our bills and then it has all of our credit cards that are due. I don't know our gas south bill yet, so that's still empty. And then I wrote what we have in our savings. We kind of had to jump into that fund and kind of clean it out. So we're starting over from scratch. And then I wrote some goals for next month that I wanted to do. I filled this out back in December. And so that's why you see the 250 to the savings, which is wrong. Because I literally just did the this sheet yesterday so this has got to change and i just kind of just wrote some goals that i want to achieve next month dealing with finances and so that's how i'll be using this sheet i'll have all of my bills and then i'll have all my credit cards and then i'll write you know our savings how much we deposit and stuff like that as you know this page is pretty much the same as it's always been how i've been using it in my other planners except the colors are color coordinated um, I have all of our bills and credit cards that I do, and I also have my cheat sheet so that when I do come in here to lay down, you know, my bill pay stickers, I can look at this cheat sheet and it helps me know, okay, what bills are due, you know, on what day. And then I also made a tab at the bottom for paid off. So this is where I'll put credit cards that we're getting ready to pay off. Just, you know, as a reminder as, you know, so far you've paid off three credit cards. And, you know, when you look at stuff like that, it kind of gets you excited. I also put down our paydays and a monthly savings sticker. I kind of wish I would have waited to fill this out because I wanted to use the budget stickers from the budget book. But I didn't think my store would have them on time. So I jumped the gun and went ahead and used my own stickers. And then when you jump to the next page, this is the from the trendsetter. I have our checklist. I have our get it done and focus on. So basically how I'm using the checklist is for things that I want to do throughout the house or things that we need to do financially. But if it doesn't get done, it you know, we could just roll it over to next month. So change air filters, get quotes for gutters, um, make a cleaning schedule. Mike needs an oil change. So, you know, this is just stuff that is not necessarily at the top of my list, but it's on my list. And so if I don't complete any of these, I'll just, you know, roll it over to next month. Monthly goals, I use for some personal goals. So I want, you know, to be able to declutter our bedroom and keep our bedroom clutter free. It's so easy to have the house clean and then like, you know, it seems like we come home from work and we just, five minutes after being home, it looks like a tornado has ran through the bedroom. So. You know, declutter the bedroom was one. And then when I go over here for get it done and focus on, these are things that are important. These are things that are on the top of my list for the month. So I have schedule root canal, add Michael to my health insurance. I need to get quotes for the internet, you know, schedule new membership class. Focus on. This is stuff that I need to focus on. We need to focus on keeping Kobe's poop out of the yard. For Christmas, we had family over and my uncle stepped in poop three times. So keep poop out the yard. I need to pay all of my medical bills from last year and I need to pay our state taxes from 2016. So these two things are kind of going to go hand in hand. These are things that are important that need to get done that month. And so the next page is also from Trendsetter. It's the daily to-do sheet. 
I'm going to be using this as a shopping list for my cleaning zones. Um, my mom suggested that we break down our cleaning schedule into zones. So zone one is the bathroom. Zone two is the living room. Zone three is the kitchen. Zone four is our laundry room. Zone five is the master bedroom. Zone six is the dining room. And then zone seven is the office. So basically what I did is took these little step trackers from, I think, the fitness book and the numbers from the dates and holidays and broke this down into zones as well and kind of just wrote out what we need to buy for those zones. So like the bathroom, we need tissue, toothpaste, and soap in all three bathrooms. The living room, we didn't really need anything, so that's blank. Zone three, which is the kitchen, we need disc detergent, you know, plastic silverware, plates, um, I also put carrot coffee and cappuccino cups because I need those. I ain't got no cappuccino. Zone four is the laundry room because we do plan on renovating. We're starting with the laundry room. So we need laundry detergent, fabric softener, paint because we're going to paint the walls, shelving units because we pretty much gutted the laundry room. So we have no shelves in there. And then if we have enough money set to the side for the dryer, we're going to go ahead and purchase the dryer this month and so that's basically how I have it broken down and then I have just in general what we need for the house so like we need air wicks throughout the house we need spray canisters throughout the house so just I have it broken down as a shopping list by cleaning zones so it's not going to be like oh you know the kitchen is zone two so let me write my grocery list no it's mainly like cleaning supplies stuff that we need to function because we don't really do like a grocery list so i don't really need that and if i needed you know an extra page like if the list was longer than the seven dots i can just take and do zone one and then start zone two down here and you know it doesn't have to necessarily start on each new color dot and then on this tab, I have our expense tracker. I'm going to be using this as a expense tracker for the house. So I'm not going to track all of our expenses. This is going to be just for the house. So like if we go to Walmart tomorrow and I knock out this cleaning list, I want to be able to say, you know, we bought toupees, soap, and tissue, and we spent $35. I'm going to say... You know, that's what we spent. It's just going to be for the house. Not grocery shopping. Not, you know, what I bought for lunch today. Just strictly household expense tracker. And then over here, of course, I have my bills for the month. And I have my credit cards for the month as well as our debt for the month. So that's basically how I plan on using my budget planner. Like I said, it might change next month. But so far, I'm kind of loving this setup. And I just kind of wanted to do like a quick, very, very quick flip through of it. I didn't want to go in depth of it just yet. Just because I'm still trying to figure out what I like and if I like this setup. So yeah, this is just basically a flip through of how I have my budget planner set up.